Good morning, barely morning. Hi everybody. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Andrew Spirit and I thought I'd just do my first live in this group just to uh, do a quick intro, introduce myself and tell you about me and what I do. And uh, I had an idea of maybe talking about a, a topic or maybe doing a few messages as well, maybe both. I'm not sure where this is going. Um, so basically, I'm a, I call myself a motivational healer, and what I do is, aside from giving private one-on-one -on -one, uh, me, psychic mediumship readings, I also do energy healings. So it's a combination of my own style, which I was taught, combined with um, Reiki. I'm a level three Reiki. And uh, in addition to that, I also do one-on-one -on -one mentoring to those who have certain spiritual abilities or are experiencing certain... Uh, non-physical experiences, gifts, uh, things happening. I basically help you figure out what's going on. Uh, I provide you with some tools to hone your abilities and uh, grow spiritually and become uh, better psychics and intuitives. And I also teach spiritual development classes. I have a level one and a level two, which is five classes in each level, one a week. And that's basically for anyone who wants to learn about energy, auras, uh, types of spirit, uh, your guides, a little bit of natural law, and also a little bit of uh, more practical, such as pendulums, a bit of psychometry, and some basic introductions to mediumship, or basic messages. So aside from being a, um, a medium and a healer, I also am a teacher, I love to teach, and I might as well mention, uh, I have also self-published a book, which is uh, available on Amazon. And a few other sites and uh, you can also find a link to it on my website which is mediumblessings.weebly.com so if any of that interests you or if you have any friends or loved ones who would be interested in any of those things that I offer please uh, send them my way I'd be happy to help I love to teach and heal and share so I'm just gonna basically see what organically organically comes up this morning I thought I would start off with a brief talk about um, the law of colors and how colors uh, influence and affect us energetically. So it might sort of veer off to a tangent and depending on how many other people we get coming on the live I might throw in a couple of messages but for now I'm just going to um, start the talk off with uh, colors, discussing colors and how they affect our energy and our mood. So there are a lot of natural laws out there um, some they're known as laws, but you can refer to them as um, vibrations of nature, conditions of nature, natural laws. It's got a, a variety of different terms, um, names, but basically, uh, it's the unseen rules or laws of the universe that basically govern our existence and how we operate, um, our limitations our abilities, what is and isn't possible in this realm or this world. So uh, with that said, let's start off with just talking about colors and most of you probably know that um, depending on what type of colors you wear, um, it strongly impacts your mood and everyone has their favorite outfits, their favorite colors and um, the reason I wanted to talk about this today is because I was fairly recently having some issues with my lower three chakras so the root the sacral and the solar plexus chakra my foundation chakras were a little bit unsteady and unstable and I needed to work on them and I came to the realization that uh, I have no not a single piece of clothing in any of those three colors red orange and yellow almost all my clothes a huge huge majority of them are blue my car is blue I seem to like blue um, too much blue and I like it, it looks good, I think, on me, but um, I uh, was advised to just try out, get some, eat the colors, eat the colors of, of those three chakras, eat food color, uh, foods that are colored in red, orange, and yellow, dress in those colors, and even try and bathe in those colors. Uh, so when you're in the shower or the tub, just use visualization techniques and imagine the colors that you want to... Um, connect with on, on a vibrational level. So anyway, I went out and I bought 
yellow, orange, and red t-shirts, and I even bought my first pair of red shoes. So I started experimenting with it and uh, sort of cut down on the uh, the regular clothing I was always wearing, and um, I was wearing every other day, just either red, orange, or yellow. And that kind of helped me keep my focus when I was trying to just balance out my energies when one of my chakras was, uh, or I should say, when I was having certain emotional energies, emotional vibrations uh, come up in those three lower chakras. I would wear the clothes and use that to keep me more aware, consciously and subconsciously, of working on those three chakras because they needed healing and they needed work and they needed to be strengthened. So. Um, Colors have a very strong impact on us, whether we realize it or not. Also, eating the colors, uh, for example, uh, root chakra, uh, beets, for example, beets, red apples. Uh, sacral chakra, the orange color, carrots is a good a good one. Uh, solar plexus, yellow, um, bananas. So I've been eating those literally just about every day. So eating the colors of the chakras, wearing the colors of the chakras, haven't been good at bathing or visualizing when I'm in the water with those chakras, but um, you know, one step at a time, I'm getting there. But the point is, colors have a huge impact on our mood, our vibration, um, the particular chakras associated with those colors. So it's a nice, neat little trick or neat little way to help work on your chakras, to balance them out, help unblock them, draw your attention to them and use that to help you heal. Uh, colors have a tremendous impact on uh, even our decision making. So just bear that in mind. Um, colors can help a great deal uh, with your chakras, with your mood, and even healing. So give it a try, see what you think. Wear them, bathe in them, even if it's just a visualization technique. If you can't actually color the water, just visualize the water um, for example, if you're having a shower, visualize it changing those colors, um, kind of like a mental, a little um, meditation while you're standing, or even in the tub. Visualize the colors, uh, eat the colors of those chakras you're trying to work on, and uh, see if that helps you. Uh, I found it a, a huge help to me, and it's also helped me break old patterns, um, wear different styles of clothing, different brands, uh, changing it up. Um, never thought I'd ever be caught dead wearing red shoes. Like, what guy, what man do you know wears red shoes? But uh, I happened to find a beautiful pair of Puma Ferrari shoes. A little bit, a little bit flashy, but amazing, stunning shoes. So there you go. I found an amazing pair of red shoes, and um, I love them, enjoy them very much. And it does definitely impact your mood. It does influence how you feel when you're walking around wearing these colors, these clothes, especially if they're, if it's a new change, if it's very different. So change is good. Change is almost like a holiday in some cases. Uh, it's good to change things up. So I think I'll stop for now. That's my little talk about uh, Law of Colors. Um, I always welcome questions from you, so if anybody has any questions about natural laws in general, or, or colors, law of colors, or um, anything else related to that, message me, visit my website, um, uh, I'd love to help, and I will be coming on fairly regularly, I plan to, on this group, and uh, doing a few more lives, and um, please share this video to anybody else you feel may be interested. Uh, because I basically I've just jumped on now. I have no idea when I'm going to be popping in and going live. So I guess it depends on who's watching at the moment. But I also do lives on my Facebook page as well, my Medium Blessings page. Every single Thursday at 7 p.m. I do live messages throughout uh, that session. And um, not everyone gets a message, but Spirit guides me basically to whoever they feel needs a message at that time. So if you want to know more about that, please message me anytime. It's typically every Thursday around 7 p.m. That's Canadian time, Toronto time. So, um, yeah, please share. And um, I will be back again pretty soon. I'm not sure when, but I plan to do this um, as often as I can. So for those who did pop in and have a listen, or those who will be listening after the live is over, um, I welcome your questions and comments, and uh, look forward to the next time. Have a great day.